Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this M4 Competition Coupe. This car was finished in September 2019 and it's finished off in San Marino Blue Metallic. Beautiful M4 Competition here, finished off, like I said, in that gorgeous San Marino Blue. Also, a sort of purple dewy hinge to it today. Also, the competition spec, a few tweaks over the standard M4 Coupe. So we've got the full black kidney grills out the front. Move around this car's also got the um, Icon Adaptive LED headlights. So that is an option, so the full LED system, uh, which also I said is adaptive. Let's so light up a few, and you've got the Icon Corona rings there. You just distinguish that front end. So obviously with the adaptive system, due to the steering wheel inputs, the lights will sort of bend around the corners. And it also comes with the high beam assistance as well, so it lowers the high beam as when you've got oncoming traffic. Move around with the 20 inch, it's, this is the 666M Star Spoke alloy wheel. Obviously, you've got the beautiful blue brake lamps there, the MSL braking system. And this is a bicolored wheel, so you have this beautiful diamond cut front face. Obviously, it's lacquered and that slightly sort of darker silver inlay it just really makes those wheels pop and stand out. A lovely contrast against the San Marino. It ties in very nicely with the silver interior, which we'll see shortly. Moving around, it's got the full gloss black air breather there. We do have some protection in this glass, it is a slightly lighter tint on the coupes. We do have the sun protection glass there, obviously helping with some of that UV protection for the rear passengers. Moving around to the back, you've got the black M4 badge in there, obviously the black quad exhaust tips. Into the boot, obviously it's just sprung loaded there, you can find the key. Even though it is obviously all about the performance of the M4, still a very practical boot there. Got a split folding seat arrangement as well, and you can drop those down with these levers here. It's still a very practical, usable space in there. Just moving around into the vehicle. As I mentioned a second ago, it's a beautiful Silverson interior. I'll see with this dedicated and cover bucket seat with these uh, slits cut out through it. Great perforation details as well running throughout. Let me just open the back here. As for all our coupes and convertibles, a true four-seater. You need to be the right thing, instead of trying to create an extra seat in the middle, make it two usable seats in the back here. A lovely contrast as well, we've got some black um, merino finish as well, so the silver, silver and black basically finish on the door cards there. Some lovely details there, M stitching as well on the four four-seat belts. Got the glorious Harmony card on that multi-speaker, Dolby 7 surround sound hi-fi there. Glorious sound quality for those speakers. You can really see the contrast stitching there as well on the black marina leather. Being the full as well, you get the full marina leather finish to the top of the door cards, top of the dashboard as well. Any sort of touch point, whether it's the centre console or wherever you're looking. Just beautiful finish for out. Finish off nicely as well with the calm fibre interior trim piece and it's black chrome highlight, highlight, highlighter underneath. Really just sets it off. Also we've got the sort of digital cockpit at the bottom here, so that's sort of digital section which you can customise and set up give different information. This car's also got the head-up display, which I think we can just see that coming in now, it's just started raining but that's popping up there. Obviously speed limit display there as well, given the current speed limit of the road you're on. And when you go into different sort of driving modes, you can get things like rev, the ever rev counter there, to give rev counter and actually the gear selecting gear number you're in. Like so. Just back to the standard driving information. So it always gives you the speed and the speed limit, then any sort of particular information. Um, i.e. if you've got uh, incoming call, any satellite navigation information, that's then projected on the windscreen to give you the relevant information when you need it. A fantastic BMW ID6 touchscreen navigation system. These touchscreens, as I mentioned, uh, great for when you're standing or uh, for a park position like this or from a, a passenger point of view, but I much prefer using the iDrive Dell, certainly when driving. Um, full lossy navigation system, like I said, that in conjunction with the head of display, giving you turn-by-turn -turn navigational information as and when you need it. Obviously, floor uh, DAB radio, AM, built-in hardware in these vehicles as well. 
So CD player, full USB capability, USB capability, and Bluetooth streaming as well. Full connected drive capability, you've got the new Amazon Alexa app as well. So you've got Amazon Alexa at home, you can basically integrate that into your vehicle. So you can control basically your Amazon Alexa from the vehicle. And obviously all those built-in apps, almost like it's a, a smartphone built into the vehicle. Tools on climate control, heated front seats. This car's also got the heated steering wheel option as well. So with all this fantastic leather, you've got these great contact points, which are beautifully warm when it's a nice cold winter's morning. So you've got the additional USB port there, so that's a sign it's got the enhanced Bluetooth um, and also the wireless charging, which is just in the central armrest here. If I swing the camera around, you've got a wireless charging pad here, this just sprung loaded, keep your phone safe, and a little LED indicator there to show you it's charging. And you also get an indicator on the iDrive stream as well, telling you that your phone is connected and charging. Uh, the enhanced Bluetooth just gives a bit better um, communication between your smartphone as well as the car. And you also get, you can have multiple phones connected at one in one time. Comes in the 7-speed DCT gearbox, so you can use the gear selector here for choosing gears or the paddles on the steering wheel, whichever you prefer. We've got the fast action buttons here to get into the different M modes from engine, suspension and steering. And the gearbox settings here as well, or you can obviously go into the iDrive dial in the iDrive system and basically configure your M1 and M2 buttons from touch control settings, I said engine, suspension, steering, transmission, and you can adjust the information on the head of display as well. Um, there's two presets which you can then save to the steering wheel in the M1 and M2 button here and here. Cruise control obviously finished here on the left hand side. You've got the volume controls, radio controls, box activation there on the left. Gear selector paddles here and obviously just this little A here, the high beam assistance button I mentioned before. Then with those icon adaptive LED headlights. You can see this car's got 11,404 miles on the clock. As I mentioned, it was a September 2019 registered vehicle. Beautiful carbon fibre roof as well. Just breaking up the San Marino paint finish. this video has been of use. If you'd like any more further information on this car or to arrange a demonstration drive, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help you.